Hey, it's me, it's you, it's Eden again, because I just kind of feel like it. Eden's just sort of my jam right now, and I don't want to, I don't want to ruin that jam. We got, oh god, oh no, oh no, our tears are so slow. We got a Mr. Mie, which is kind of nice, maybe. We got a pill, which could be a thing. And we have a way of getting out of a curse room at least, but oh god. Oh god, look at this. Why? Oh god, why? Oh well. We'll just see what happens. Um, okay, spiders. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Tears up, that's a little bit good at least. That's actually really good. That was actually really, really good. All things considered, really. Are you a wizard? That's not so good. But we got some more tier 8, which, let's be honest, we kind of needed it because we shot so slow and now we just shoot sort of at a medio mediocre pace instead of just actually slower than anything ever on the world in existence ever and other such words which mostly just mean the same thing. And we're kind of lucky in that regard. I, did, I do kind of wish we didn't get I Are You a Wizard because it doesn't really mesh. It doesn't really mesh with our current build, really, does it? Probably could have just used Mr. Mega Bombs. Also, it's weird that these just stopped doing anything, but all right. That's kind of good. That's good. That's all right. It's not the best mapping in the world, but it's something, I suppose. And uh, obviously would have wouldn't have minded something a little bit more damagey, I guess. But yeah, we'll have to make do with what we got. We'll just live and get something better on the next floor. Maybe we can get a magic mushroom from our boss. Maybe we can get a cat and nine tails. Maybe we can get god mode. Maybe we won't. Fairly likely we won't. But overall, the uh, odds are not immediately against us. I was kind of hoping for a secret room there. But I'm kind of happy I at least managed to kill the big old spider dude. And now I kind of wish I just tried to bomb out of the curse room and said, Although, there's coins here, so that's kind of cool. I'll put it over there. That'll probably hit a bunch of them. Boom! Coins everywhere! -ish. Two coins. It's alright, I guess. I mean, it's not the worst. It's been worst times in my life ever. So, all in all, could be more disastrous. I'm pretty okay with it. Ooh, now that... Looks kind of neat. Also, we keep getting Curse of the Unknown on the first floor now, and I don't like it at all. We need to stop getting that all the time. It's not fun anymore, guys. Not fun anymore. Hmm. I'm gonna not risk it yet. I'm gonna risk it after clearing that final room to see if I can get four more coins. Would be pretty rad. Wouldn't mind. I guess we could get Pageant Boy. So I guess uh, one. I'm gonna kill the boss first. And if I then can get... Oh god, our, <laughs> he just flew over those rocks immediately. If we can buy the, uh, the cardy thing, then I think I wanna. I think I wanna have that card. The blank card. Seems pretty useful after all. And if not, then we'll just go with our little, little kind of crap map thing. Because, you know, it's not the best map in the world, but... It'll have to do, I guess. We could at least, like, buy a soul heart there, which is kind of good, I guess. We can probably also get a soul heart after killing this guy, because he's all blue, and that means there's a soul heart inside his little body. At least for this guy. It also means he doesn't really spawn enemies ever, which is good, because we can't really fight enemy spawns right now, like, very well. Given that our tears are smaller than a very small bar of soap, and naturally we take damage from... Probably one of the easier bosses in the game. At least it's still on basement one, so it doesn't matter too much, but I don't know what my health is. I don't know what my health is, and that worries me. But uh, I think I should still be okay. At least I didn't die. That that could have actually killed me, I think, thinking about it. That would have sucked. Uh well I'm not dropping a bunch of yellow goop on the floor whenever I walk through a door, so I'm at least over half a heart, but still not the best situation to be in, obviously. Uh, I guess I could kill that mini boss as well. I haven't really thought about doing that just yet, so... And there's two pots over there I can hit pretty easily. So it's not the end of the world that we... That went really well. <laughs> that went really, really well. And we actually got a coin from that. But yeah, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we don't get the thing, but... Oh god, well that doesn't really matter either, but... Ah, eh. that's a shame. I did kind of want it. I did kind of want to get that blank card, but what are you going to do? 
I'll just put two coins in there and move on. I have no idea how many hearts I have, but... At least I have a soul heart, so getting a devil deal should be doable, maybe? Unless we only have soul hearts, that would get kind of messy, I suppose. Oh, we actually have a lot of hearts. Two soul hearts, three red heart containers, no bombs, because I wasted them all trying to get money. Probably could have gotten enough money if I bombed the donation machine, but I don't want to do that just yet. Not until we're done here. And at least we got a golden poop over there, so we can at least get some money out of this. That's a lot of tears flying in my direction. God, killing at anything right now is just awful. <laughs> Why did I pick Eden? Why did I pick the one character where there's a chance you'll get something like this to start off with? Because it's more fun that way. Because it'll be more random. It'll be not the same run over and over, which is kind of nice. Obviously, with Isaac, you can get some pretty ridiculous things, which will make your build ridiculous. But it is kind of fun to just be in danger every now and then. Because there's not really any danger after a while with Isaac. And having, like, some sense of danger does make it a little bit more interesting for everyone involved. Telepills. I did not need that right now. Not immediately. <laughs> I guess I'm happy with the goat head, but oh god, uh... I was hoping that would actually give me something. That's kind of awkward. I don't think I like that at all, but alright. Uh, I guess we're going to the caves because of an I am error room that we got out of telepills, and we no longer see our health again because of amazingness. But yeah, that kind of blows. I kind of wanted to get some damage out of maybe our devil deal, maybe our item room or something like that, but oh well. Nothing we can do about that now. At least we killed that guy with our meat cube pretty quickly, and the fact that we have a meat cube is pretty great. The mapping is going to give us uh, some insight of where things are, at least. So far, it's mostly been a compass, but it can be the other mapping effects as well. can give us some insights where our secret room is. That meat cube is blocking a lot of tears, so, you know, it's... So far, it's still sketchy, but doable. But I don't like getting rooms like this too much, really. The fact that our meat cube was as good as it was is kind of a surprise to me, given that there were a lot of tears there and I didn't like it very much. But oh well. Um, I'm just going to fly in this general direction. I don't like this very much. I'm actually going to... whoop. was kind of hoping I could hit the champions with that, but at least I hit the guys that were actually walking straight towards me, so it's not the end of the world. But God, this damage, though. It took like eight shots to kill a normal one of these guys, let alone the champion version. That's going to take days. I just want to get rid of all those tears they're shooting because they do deal full heart of damage. And there's that explosion of tears as well. Everything's horrible. Everything's horrible. I don't like it at all. I'm tempted to go into like the curse room just to see if there's a pentagram or something in there, but I probably shouldn't. Not yet. I don't know. My health is not super good right now, and given the damage we have, we probably should be at least a little bit careful. Probably, but simultaneously I want to push my meat cube into people's faces like it's not a bad idea And we also don't really have the keys to open our item room right now either. So that's good We're just having a great time at least we got a goat head from the I am air room So at least it's something I guess but god It is not running in our favor currently look at how long it takes to kill any of these guys. Oh my god an impatient person would have died 14 times right now, but we had the patience of the gods, and that's the only thing keeping us alive right now. Because if we start to, like, speed this up too much, then we'll, we will probably just die. Like, we just do not have damage. We don't really have much of anything right now, so... Ugh. But I'm just going to try and find a whole bunch of hearts, I think. That's kind of the one thing I'm kind of trying to focus on. Hearts and keys and bombs and... Yeah, all of these things, pretty much. I would have liked the ladder taking me immediately to the next floor so we can take even more risks, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose, so we're just gonna move on and be happy that we got a key in general. That was pretty much undodgeable, so that was pretty cool. I was just too close to those guys, and there's too many of these people. Too many of these people. <laughs> oh my god, they're aggressive randomly. Like, normally these guys just shoot in random directions and fail to hit anything ever, but these guys are ruthless. Very weird. Oh, good, another book. Well, uh, I... I <laughs> I guess I can try to get the, uh, full meat boy? I mean, that's kind of good, I guess. <laughs> He'll at least deal some damage to bosses and stuff, so... I guess we might as well try and go for that. We've already got the first part, after all, and we're in the caves, and we got the Book of Revs, so... We're pretty much good to go on trying to go for it. Oh my god, why does so many of these guys... Oh, and he just instantly exploded as well, so that's good. <laughs> there went that heart I just got. That's nice. I like it. I don't need health, so that's fine. 
It would be cool if we could get a key and actually go into our shop, because the amount of coins we're getting this run is actually pretty good, but... Ugh, I don't like any of this. If we can get a battery from our shop, that would be pretty rad. Are there batteries on this floor? I'm not actually sure. I don't think there are, but... Our map is definitely not showing off any. Hey, that is nice. That's not the end of the world, then. Not everything's terrible. There are some good things in the world. And we're only on the caves one, so there's no chance at greeds here. Probably. If that still works the same. And if it doesn't, then I wouldn't be overly surprised. Put some coins in here, because why not? At least we got that going for us. Use that again, because it's amazing. I actually considered it to buy the uh, card thing, but we actually have a decent pill pool. We at least have tears up, and I kind of want to have more of that, because it's still not great. <laughs> Our main damage is still just entirely from... <laughs> from a single tears up and a meat cube, really, so... Okay, that might help out at least a little bit. At least on the next floor. I think it... Does it still work this... Like that you get extra damage once you leave the floor or something weird like that? I don't know. Either way... Oh, it does make our tears bigger, so I guess it's just immediate now. But, oh well. That's kind of good. That's kind of nice. The more damage, the better. Obviously. Plus, it gives us three black hearts, which is also very appreciated. And hopefully this run might actually go anywhere. At least we're getting a bunch of keys now as well. So if we now go back to the previous floor and enter the IM air room again, we should be able to open two more chests. But that is impossible. So there is that to consider as well. There's a couple of like, flaws with that plan. But overall, it's a pretty good idea. But yeah, I have to ask management to let me do these things. Because for some reason, the game just won't let me. For some reason, the game is just not giving me the option of going back in time. Not sure why. Would have been really helpful to be able to go back in time with the items that I currently have. But, oh well. I'll just uh, give the game the benefit of the doubt and just see if it's actually nicer in some of the future parts of this run instead. And then I won't have to travel through time because I'm already going forward through time anyway. It's just at a very slow pace. Kind of the same pace that everyone else is going forward through time, really. So, let's just try to travel to a better run. <laughs> That's the plan. We travel to a better run where Eden is not incredibly useless. At least our meat cube is doing a lot of damage here. Getting rid of a lot of the scary things. It's taking like 14 shots to kill those tiny poops, so that's pretty good. Mr. Mega should help out a little bit. Tempted to look for my secret room, actually, because I don't really have a reason not to. And I feel like it's too left over here, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, it might be. I don't think anyone shot in that direction just yet, so I might as well try. Boop. Hey. Um, yeah? Yeah, I guess. And some pills. And a bunch of munmuns. Lovely. Liking that a lot. And the pills are... Speed up. Not bad. Don't mind that one bit. Nine coins. Can I do anything with nine coins? I don't think I can, actually, so I'm actually just going to keep going. But still, nine coins, you know. Could be good for the next floor. We still have four keys after all, so we might as well save up for something nice. Probably should have broken that poop when I still had the trinket that makes poop better, but oh well. Too late for that now. Now we'll just kill Pestilence at the slowest pace imaginable. I guess uh, I, I should just throw a bomb. Oh, please get hit by that. Thank you very much. <laughs> that did a lot of damage and saved a lot of time, I feel. And a lot of damage to my own little face. So... At least that singular bomb I had came in good use, because I got a little bit scared. I'll be honest, fighting this guy, he spawns a lot of nasty stuff, shoots a lot of green, scary death balls, and... Ugh. Ugh. Alright, at least we got a meet cute now, it looks all happy. I'm gonna use my Book of Revelations again, and... Um... Hmm... I don't know. I don't really need the sacrificial dagger. I haven't had it in a while, but I kind of like just using the meat cube, honestly. So I'm just gonna just gonna leave. See if we can get some angel rooms instead. It's fairly unlikely. I think the Book of Revelations gave some has some weird effects on it as well. But I'm, I'm not sure if the Book of Revelations did like plus chance of it just opening or if it gave plus chance to devil deals. It's been a while. Plus we have the goat head, so we'll just see what we get in the future as well. But for now, we're just going to have me and our meat cube go on an adventure. That's pretty much the idea. And hopefully it's just going to work out. Hopefully we will just get a full meat boy as well. I'm not sure if we ever did. Did we get a full meat boy at some point? 
Like, I know, I think we got a full bandage girl at one point, but I'm not sure if we got a full meat boy ever. It's always kind of hard to tell with these crazy creatures and these millions and billions of runs. But even if we don't get that, it's fine. We should at least be able to get a level 3 meat boy with the, the build we have right now. And level 3 is just pretty good. Like, it just runs into things and deals a bunch of damage. Would have taken that if it wasn't not as good. <laughs> If, uh, if I didn't value getting more soul hearts right now, then I would have considered it. But with the damage we have right now, I want to be close to enemies a lot of the time. And that means I'd rather play it safe. Oh, for stuff like that. And uh, I'm glad we got some invulnerability frames there because otherwise I would have taken even more damage. But it worked out. Worked out quite well. We can go into our arcade room. Our arcade room is going to have nice things. And all in all... I don't see anything that could still go wrong with this run. This run has become perfect. We have so much health. Um, I'll play with this thing for a while, I guess. I might see if uh, our shop contains a piggy bank. And I might go back for that. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that whole roomy room. I probably would have taken damage there anyway, so that's my excuse for just running into the enemy there. But yeah, if we can get a piggy bank, that... Blood donation machine becomes a lot better as well, so that would be good. Trying to use the meat cube, like both its tears, but also its face to deal a lot of damage to the enemy. If we could get a, uh, a unicorn stub, we could just have that last run again. That worked out so well. I'm still, even like now, I'm just surprised at how well that run went, where we just got like the, uh, the meat cube and the unicorn stub or whatever it's called. Unicorn nub. I don't know. Little unicorn leg that recharges once per room, and it, we just destroyed everyone. <laughs> it was great. I want more runs like that. They were fun. They kept me alive with the loss. Like, what else do you want? That's like the perfect run if you stay alive with the loss ever. <laughs> just ever in general. Such a horrible character. Still so glad that we're done with it. Just a hundred thousand runs later, I'm still happy to just be done with the loss and not have to worry about that anymore. Because it's just not that fun to play. I would, I do wonder what the expansion is going to bring in terms of like new challenges and stuff. Because I don't know what they do. I don't know. Pyromaniac again seems to pop up a lot lately. Not sure why, but I don't mind. I guess probably shouldn't have used that there, but oh. Well. Because Pyromaniac is going to give us a couple extra coins from our blood donation machine, obviously, because we could just bomb ourselves, and that would work out quite well. We can use Pyromaniac to stay alive, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that just yet. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it, actually, just for the funsies, but no, yeah, well, it's too late for that now. Too late to reconsider. Catacombs number two, fighting the hollow. And he's dead. Because <laughs> I took damage. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, another devil deal. Let's see if this one contains anything good and not Krampus. Say, that's the one we haven't seen in a while. That is one we haven't seen in a long time, so it's about time that we take it, I guess. Brimstone, wow. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Probably fairly low. Probably should have first used my uh, donation machine, thinking about it. Because we do have... Um... We do have the goat head, so it would have just stayed open regardless. But, oh well, hindsight and all that. Who needs money? We got brimstone. We got a lot of extra items spawning because we got cool stuff. Suddenly this run became a lot better. Weird. Get that, get that. Uh, actually, I can just stay next to you. You don't deal damage to me. Still going to try to like level up my meat boy a lot, though. Now, we're currently already at 17 minutes because we just had no build until now. And then suddenly, boom! Super powerful. <laughs> so, let's just keep going. Might as well just explore the rest of this floor for the funsies. Did I already find my shop? I don't remember. Well, I guess these guys don't even damage me anymore, do they? No. <laughs> uh, this build went from just sort of horrible to just really, really good in a single floor. I love this game. And the game loves me back oh so much all the time. It's lovely. Should probably try and at least have my uh, Book of Revelations at least a little bit charged. I'm also just being so much more reckless now. I'm just running into everything because why not? Nothing can stop me now. Well, don't really care about pills too much. And don't really care about that battery either, I'll be honest. So I'm just going to put some coins in here. Slowly reaching that 900. 
I think it's 900 at least. It's like at 873 now, isn't it? Should be pretty close to that at least, and nearly done with putting coins in that stupid thing. And I'll be happy when the time comes when we can stop doing that, because god... It's not really that interesting of a mechanic, is it? It's not really interesting to make a number go up between runs. It's nice that, it, that you at least get some unlocks from it in the end, but ugh. I wouldn't have minded if that was never put in the game. It, it does not really add much to the game for me personally. So there you go. Oh, well, took a whole bunch of extra damage for uh, good reasons. Really good reasons, actually. And now we can move on. Probably should have looked for my secret room. Probably should have actually entered my arcade room again, but I chose not to do any of these things instead. That was uh, instead my decision to just not do things. And it worked out. Look at how good it's working out already. Wish we had a map, though, but oh well. At least we should get part three of our meat cube over here, and that's gonna be cool. Gonna make him walk around a lot. Gonna make him look all fancy pants. And the moment we look all fancy pants, and there's nothing that's gonna stop us. Nope. Not interested. But the gesture's nice, I guess. What do we got? Oh, God. Kill the scary one first, the one that shoots in three directions, because it's a lot more unpredictable than that guy. And also a lot more unpredictable than the other ones, really. It's just really quite an awkward enemy. And at least with the meat cube, it's not that hard to fight, but still, I don't want to, like, think. We got brimstone. The, the time for thinking is over. Now is the time for just having a good day. Now is the time for just having a good run, where we just live for a while. Like, not... I mean, we still don't deal damage, <laughs> but at least we're not struggling as hard anymore. Hopefully we can actually get a um, Pandora's box somehow. So we can get an, another chance at an angel room item, but nah. <laughs> Don't really mind too much if we don't get that, I suppose, but it would be nice. Like, simultaneously, I also want to get the uh, Meat Boy completed, so... Even though Mr. Fred is inevitably going to be blocking us from doing that, because he's very good at doing that, but... I still wouldn't mind, you know? Still wouldn't mind to get that meat boy, at least try to get it, because it's one of those things that just doesn't happen very often. Having it happen once in a while is kind of fun, you know? It's kind of funsies. I don't like this room very much, it's too movie. I don't like movie rooms. Stompy, now we're all big and... Look at how we look right now, though. What is going on with our face? I guess it's the haircut that's making me, like, mostly look weird, because I'm not used to having, like, white hair with my character. And now I look all weird, and I'm not used to what I'm seeing. What does it all mean? Oh, well. Maybe these extra skulls that we can break now can give us maybe a tarot card, or maybe something else cool. Didn't even see that tinted rock, but I'll take your free stuff. And... Yeah, just... Uh, do I just kill the enemies? This is Necropolis 1, so I could... War. Give me your meaty friend. The one that's in your body somewhere. The one that's going to be put on a pedestal after your demise now. Boop. Gotta catch them all. Look at that, Meat Boy. Go fight Krampus, inevitably. Hey, Meat Boy. Go run into him. Look at him go. Look at him go. I should get BFF. If I can get into the shop, I can see if BFF is there, I suppose. That would actually help out a fair bit with damage, I think. I actually thought Meat Boy dealt more damage, but it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Don't really care about that too much, so... I'm gonna go back. And see if we can find something neato. Probably I should have actually used the... Uh, thing earlier, but I didn't. But it doesn't really matter too much either. Where would the shop be? I'm kind of lost right now, which is kind of the point of this curse of the something. Lost? Yeah, it is actually curse of the lost. Uh, I don't know. Where is my shop? Where would it be? Maybe here? Yeah. This looks right. This looks like a place where I have not been previously. And could maybe lead us to some great times. Two diamonds. That is actually pretty useful. All things considered. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to afford anything. Hopefully we can find our secret room. But it's, let's be honest, fairly unlikely. Ugh. But maybe we can find something cool on this floor still. Maybe, maybe. Maybe uh, the item's just on sale. Maybe Greed's here and he's going to give us a 50% off item instead. That'll work out, I suppose. Hermit card? Well, that should make us find our shop pretty easily, at least. 
And I'm not sure why I'm bringing this along with me right now. I don't really have a very good argument for that one. But if someone is willing to make up random crap, then I will definitely listen and pretend I made it up myself. Which I think is called plagiarism. But it still works out because of reasons. Would have liked if that was like damage, but it wasn't. And I'm sad now. I have no idea where my shop is. Is it up here, maybe? Yep. Still haven't visited this either. I'm, like, really lost. I'll be honest. I don't know where I am. I keep saying I'll be honest. It's been something I've been saying lately a lot, and it bothers my... It bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me how much I've been saying these same things over and over. I'm starting to feel like catchphrases by like, the amount I'm saying it, and I don't like it. I don't like it when I accidentally use words over and over because it's something you don't really notice either where like you'll just talk and it's just one of those filler words I guess where you it's better than saying oh bleh, bleh, the entire time but is it though <laughs> is it really that much better because it is something I just say a lot and it uh, it frustrates me. It frustrates me as a person who makes the videos where I do a lot of the talking and should be able to say a lot of diverse wordings. Because I need to be able to say a lot of diverse wordings to look all fancy and smart. Because naturally, the point of these videos is to look smart. Um, <laughs> it may not have seemed that way so far, but that's that's the end goal. Looking incredibly intelligent. That's sad. I was hoping it was there. Oh well. Use that. Use that. Uh, I'm actually going to spend some coins into the donation machine right now. Because there's a fair chance Greed's going to be showing up in our next shop. So... Actually, just gonna put some stuff in here. Not gonna get the uh, the there's options thing because there's not really a reason to anymore. Like the next boss is going to give me the Polaroid, and the boss after that is hopefully gonna give. Actually, I might as well buy it. I don't really have a reason not to. Uh, I'll just do this. Bloop. Like uh, I consider not buying it, but then again, if Mr. Fred's there, which he will be, because he's a butthole, then I do want to at least have, I, I guess, have a better choice of the items I can get afterwards. So, you know, there's that. It's something. Uh, I'll take that one. I think there was probably a better card out there somewhere, but I forgot. I forgot which cards were available. It's a surprise I still remember how to get here, <laughs> of all places. It's just one big line to the end. So many curses. Where's our black candle at? I want one of those. Wow, okay. That's random. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, I'll take that, too, I guess. Don't mind that. It doesn't really do a whole lot right now, but... oh, well. Our item room was to the right. I saw it very briefly. But yeah, this guy. We don't really use him that often, either. And this is also kind of a cool thing to get. The uh, I think it's either BFF or the one that makes flies bigger. Hive mind. Not really sure which one affects this one, but it can actually deal a fairly large amount of damage. As you can see right here. And obviously, Brimstone might have been a better choice there, but... That's a lot of keys. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And actually, thinking about it, Brimstone might actually be dealing less damage than this thing right now. Just because our damage is just butts. It's not good. Our damage is not great at all right now. So if you can get some damage from my item room, that will be nice. And I'll be very, very happy. And this is a large, empty room. Okay, foot. Yep, that's damage. Need that look. Need that look, after all. Lock up. Very important. At least we immediately find our shop as well, presumably. Unless this is like a library or something, but I'm gonna assume it isn't. Hey, look, it's great. What a shock and surprise. I'm glad I used all my coins in the previous floor, because otherwise... Would have been a waste. I'm gonna use this right now, actually. Because, yeah, I figured. We haven't seen greed for so long. Just every single floor, and we're already at the depths too. Like, the odds were not in our favor. It was very likely that he was going to show up, and he did. He was just there to have a good time, and I ruined everything. Do a heart. That's pointless, but I guess it's better than nothing, almost. Oh, yeah, I can actually use this swing once, and then heal back up to full again, and then use it again. Look at that. Two coins instead of one. Wow. What a... What gains? <laughs> what gains? Oh, well. Better than nothing, I suppose. Gotta take them tiny victories and whatnot. Little meat boys being pretty useful. Little flies being pretty useful. I'm just not gonna move them. 
So he deals a whole bunch of damage to me. That won't actually damage me because I have Pyromaniac, so I'm not sure why I dodged that. Uh, because I want to say it one heart. Or half a heart. Yeah, that's my reasoning. I'm willing to use that as an excuse. Um, I guess I could go to the lamb. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm going to go here first, I guess. Deep floop floop. Nah, yeah, I took damage, so I guess I'll come back for that. Um, Yeah, this build's not really going anywhere, so I'm just going to go to the lamb, I think. Yeah, why not? I have to remember to actually go down, but oh, well, I'll probably remember that, right? What are the odds of me forgetting anything ever? They're like zero. Don't want the Harlequin, baby. I guess. Why not? Well, who doesn't like fighting some bosses for no real apparent reason? Hey, Meat Boy. Meat Boy. There you go. Meat Boy is good for enemies that require him to, like, be in them because he doesn't like to move very much. But when he does move, wowie wow. He becomes so good. And I do hope we're not going to get Mr. Fred this floor. I do hope we're not going to get Mr. Fred this floor. I don't really want to fight Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred has done nothing wrong. I have the Harlequin baby. It's pretty much just a tiny Mr. Fred. But please no. <laughs> please no. Please no. Please no. We've already fought so many bosses. Why not just remove the boss? Why not just remove the boss from the floor? Also, these rooms are kind of nice to do with the little fly. Just because he can just get rid of everything. And it's nice. He's good. And the meat cubes, meat boy, cube, boy, cube, man is being used so here as well, so that's good. I think this is being great right now. If we can just randomly find and fix our donation machine as well, then we got it in the bag. We got it in the bag. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Over easy. With eggs. Yeah. Only thing we're lacking right now is a map, and that's really our own fault. We threw it away at the start, but it was for the greater good. It was to get more meat. And if more meat's on the menu, then the boys will go out to get more meat on the menu, boys. Lord of the Rings quote. That's, that's, that's a joke. Nah. Nah. Hopefully our devil is going to be good as well. Like, we still have a heart left, and I'd rather not. Well, I mean, that's one way of getting rid of it. Should I? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, actually I am. Never mind. I'm gonna just get rid of that. Just to deal an extra little bit of damage every single time. Because you never know. Should've gone into my curse room. <laughs> I think now, but oh well. Too late to change what, into that one, I suppose. But yeah, should've gone into that curse room. Then back, and then used the paw, but I didn't think of that. And now it's too late, so now we can't go back. And I'm very sorry that I'm not perfection. Because if I was perfection, then I would have gotten the thing. I would have been, like, three guppies now. I would have been three characters that I control simultaneously. I could, I could actually, if I was perfect, I probably could, like, play multiplayer on my own. It would be really horrible, but... I mean, I'd be perfect. Wouldn't matter. I'd just win every time. Never take damage. Wouldn't even need items, but, yeah. That's not the life we're leading. <laughs> That's not the life I'm leading right now. I'm actually going to go into my curse room. Why not? I don't really have a reason not to. Because I can just get a heart back from this thing anyway. Our, ooh, our boss room is actually small enough that there is potential for filling up into a whole new meat boy person. So that's kind of good. Uh, it tends to just take damage here to kill everyone, but oh, uh, I'll just heal immediately. So I can get an extra charge to... Slightly sort of semi maybe I can see forever. Oh, all right Slightly sort of semi maybe you improve the chance of getting The thing I want getting a uh, little meat cube action Getting that final meat getting a ladder in here. Sure Maybe get a black market randomly. Hey, actually if I leave now what happens? There's a book of sins there. I wonder if this still works. Does this still work? Huh, look at that! That actually still works! I didn't think that would still work in this game, but you can... Huh. So if there is a ladder <laughs> in uh, in this room, you can actually just keep respawning him over and over as long as he just spawns an enemy. And what you can do 
is you can have him spawn a whole bunch of quarters that way, I think. And then you could reroll them and get a whole bunch of secret room items. So I guess that's a thing you could do. <laughs> but you need some very specific luck. If I had, um... If I had, like, the D6, I probably would have gone for it. But since I don't, I won't. And I'll, I honestly also can't really be bothered. <laughs> but it's a thing you can do. And God, why, Conquest, do you have to ruin everything? Why does Conquest exist in this game? Why is there a thing that requires you to get four items and then... There are, like, three different bosses you can get on, like, this floor. Like, you can get Mr. Fred, who just overrides any meat cube. You can get Conquest, which does the same. Ah, uh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. How dangerous do I want to be? Very? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um... I don't think this one, I guess. I don't really need health. <laughs> this one might die. It'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, I got kind of mad because of not getting the thing, and then I made some mistakes, really. That was not really the best choices I could have made, but oh well. We're just gonna go to the lamb, kill the lamb, and just show the world that if we can do it with the Lost, we can do it with Eden. But, to be fair, the Lost had a better build than this. It, I mean, we have Brimstone, but we're damaged, though. Like, we'll get damage when we die. Like, we have that going for us, I suppose. Because when we die, we'll turn into Judas. And then it doesn't really matter anymore. But right now, it doesn't really work too well. Killed that little guy with the thingy thing. That's right. That's descriptive. Killed the mimic dude with the blue fly. So that's good. Trying not to die. <laughs> Everything became a lot scarier suddenly. Not sure where that suddenly came from, but there's just something very uneasy about all of this. Probably should have just stuck with the Book of Revelations, but what's the fun in that, you know? What's the fun in actually having a chance to survive or run? We haven't died in too long. It's been too long since we last died, so, you know, gotta have some fun with this stuff. Uh, I'm trying to, like, get the fly inside him as I'm shooting, but it's not really that easy. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can get like a uh, oh, speed up, I guess. Sure. That's free. I wonder if we can get a Tinder Rock here. At least I sort of still remember what they look like, but I'm always scared of this place. I'm always scared that tears just come out of nowhere and just kill me. That's a genuine concern in here as well. It's not nice. Not nice at all. Would have been nice if, if you had where's like there's options that at least conquest would have given you that second meat cube as an option, but yeah, whatever. Too late for that now. Can't choose for that one because it's not a thing that happens in the game. Ah, <laughs> uh, conquest, you're a butt. Still angry. Still so very angry. How did I not die there? I do not believe that just happened. I am very much questioning a lot of things that just occurred. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself, and unless I get a heart here, I didn't. So, what are we gonna do? Nudge. There we go. And now, with that small rock as well, and we're Judas now, which is good. Oh god, I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Why is the. <laughs> I hate Meat Boy. He's just standing next to the eyeball. Why did he just stand still? But at least we're dealing damage now. At least we're dealing damage now. We got that going for it. Get a soul heart from that thing. Sure, sure. Don't mind that. Look at our damage now, though. Look at all that nice damage from Juicy Shadow, Tinted Rock. Or not Tinted Rock, Small Rock, rather. Good stuff. Telepills. Probably should have eaten those <laughs> before going into the curse room. But oh well, hindsight. Couldn't have predicted it. It was impossible to predict. I'm gonna play with this thing for a while. Also, we got the lucky foot, so there's actually a fair chance we're gonna win a whole bunch with this thing, I suppose. That's pretty cool. What's this thing? Two spades, joker guard. Oh, we could actually skip the mom fight this way. What's this, Jera? Prayer throw. Oh, that's also quite good. Look at how much we're winning with this thing. It's ridiculous. Hermit card, empress card. Pair throw, pair throw twice. All right, sure. 
kind of useless on this floor, unfortunately, but it would have been cool if it wasn't another Joker card. What is going on here? Oh my god, these are all such good items. I'm trying to get like a, a thingy. I mean, soul hearts are nice. Oh, that's actually quite good as well. All right, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to get two spades. Get some extra keys. Joker card. Oh, I'm on the fence on this one. I'm not sure if I want to get the Joker card or the Perthro rune. Oh, I guess I could just use Perthro here. Never mind. <laughs> That's a better idea. I don't want that item, though. That's boring. Uh... Uh, is it boring? Yeah, it's boring. All right. That's even worse. But, you know, we tried. We tried to make it interesting, and we failed. That's just uh, what you get when you play with the odds. I'm going to... Oh, Embrace card wouldn't actually... Do anything because <laughs> we're already at the horror of Babylon. Yeah, I'll just go like this, I guess. Uh, not tell the pills, Liberty Cap, that one, and just go. <laughs> Why not? This should keep us going for a little while at least. Should give us some good stuff. Um, I have a. Uh... Huh, I guess I meant to take that. I guess I meant to take the. <laughs> Uh, crystal ball. I I don't think I was really planning on doing that. I probably should have just re-rolled that because that's not really... I mean, it's a good item, but I don't... it's not exciting. I'm not excited. I'm not excited by the things we got going on until I just took a whole bunch of damage in the mom fight. I mean, I can't just skip it. Like, at any point, I could just press RB and then we skip the fight entirely, but we're almost done here anyway, so, like, whatever. Ugh, that went messy. I didn't like that too much. Didn't like that too much. But maybe we can get something cool out of our W here. Uh, whoop. <laughs> um, uh, I would have considered it if uh, we got a soul heart there, but I didn't. So I'm not going to do that, I think, unfortunately. Oh, going to kill those immediately because those are irritating when you are a little bit worried about your health. But yeah, definitely consider that rotten baby if I had gotten two soul hearts out of that red chest, but it was not to be. Not to be, unfortunately. Makes me sad. Kill monster real quick, like. Yeah. At least we got a whole bunch of, whole bundle of friends going on over here as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, kill those flies with monster. Monster is actually quite cooperative in this game. Very, very good friend. Get ourselves a soul heart. Give ourselves the information about our secret room everything's gravy everything's wonderful not get killed by this guy that would also be a good idea and to the curse room we go and this room might also be kind of good health up kind of wish i kept that thingy thing now luck down great kind of wish i kept that guppy spot now it would have been pretty good I mean, this is just silly. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. That's not meant to happen. That's just cheating. I'm sorry I'm just such a big cheater. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to suddenly get 10 lives and become guppy with brimstone, but it just happens. I can't stop these things. I have no control over this. If I had, then I would have stopped it, but I couldn't. I tried. I tried to stop it, but it's just too powerful. My luck's just too good. Ugh, hate it. Hate it so much. Hate these runs that just get ruined by greatness. Ugh. Oh well. Maybe, um, uh, maybe the next floor is going to have something cool in it. With some luck we can get Dad's key on the next floor. That would be pretty rad. That would be pretty cool, Leo's. And, uh, at least the odds of us dying are now pretty low. Oh yeah, I can just stand still now, actually. And he should just die, probably. Oh wow, he took a lot of damage from the flies and actually survived. Didn't actually expect him to survive that. Like, that's a lot of flies he stomped on there. But I guess not. I guess not. Uh, Curse of the Unknown. That's just great. A lot of question marks here. But at least we can see our items, I suppose. Juggament. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go there. In this direction. Maybe our Judgment card. Gonna give us something cool in the Devil Deal. Not Devil Deal, the Secret Room, maybe. I wish we could re-roll it, though. wish we still had a Perthro Rune. But I elected to go for the Joker card instead, which was, I guess, not really the right choice. Although we did use both of our Perthro Runes as well, so it's like, meh. 
but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about all these choices so far. Kind of wish I could have done a little bit more with the uh, thingy majigal. The whatchamacallit. The thingy mabuvert. The... God, I'm just drawing a complete blank right now. The, the devil deal? I guess I'm going for that word. I guess that's the word I'm going for. I guess I might as well pick up these things. With some luck, we might die and turn into yet another character. <laughs> Although I might have to die like nine times before I reach Lazarus's rags, which is kind of sad. But we might just turn from Eden into Ju into Judas into Lazarus, which would be kind of hilarious. So, you know, possibilities there. Our health is getting pretty ridiculously low, which doesn't matter because everything's dying in one hit anyway. But still, the odds are there. Oh, that's kind of cool. At least we could repeat the floor again, so... The odds of us getting a dad's key have slightly increased just now, so that's lovely. Could just kill this dude real quick-like and then move on with the rest of the floor. There we go. Nothing too troublesome, because we're too powerful. Two fallens. Let's see how good they deal against our ridiculous amount of damage. Another two chests. Oh, tech point five is always nice. Although it doesn't actually work <laughs> with this. Uh, Tank point five is actually quite good because it's just extra damage when you have tears. Because it just shoots tears pretty much randomly, I think. But Or uh, lasers. It shoots lasers pretty much randomly. And it's quite good in that regard, but... I guess the brimstone doesn't actually do anything, which is kind of sad. Nope. Oh, <laughs> didn't even bother to try and dodge that one. I was just fully focused on the one on the left instead. Which was not the right choice to make there. That's okay, though. Who needs the right choices when you have so many lives? Boom. <laughs> Wafer. Why not? Why not add that to the pile of items as well? Why not? Why not just win immediately? Why not get all the winning winning winnings? Lover's card. I guess we're still at full red hearts. I guess we did pick up that heart and we still had a couple soul hearts as well. But I thought I had less health. Could have sworn I had less health, but I guess not. I guess not. Don't mind that though. I don't I actually really mind like not being dead. Like I, I say that I kind of want to run to die just because it doesn't happen that often. Except with like the loss, and with the loss, it's just not really that satisfying. But with a character like this, like you can just die and be like, yeah, <laughs> I just died, and it was because my character just became that bad, or my run was just that bad, or I was just unlucky, or I just played bad. Like there's a lot of reasons to die. And winning, once you get the hang of it, it's not really that hard anymore. So it's like, wouldn't mind something a little bit more, a little bit more gusto. I want to get them runs that just really try to massacre me. Like, them's, them's the runs I'm looking forward to right now. Just because they don't happen that frequently. It's not that many of them anymore, now that we've done all the hard stuff in the game and we're just doing runs to get the remaining items and, like, the remaining coins in our donation machine and stuff like that. We're just doing runs for the funsies right now, really. Let's be honest. Uh, Scorpio. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Boom. That does actually make our thing green. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac Stairs. The best item. There are like uh, a build. Like there's like a build where that item's good and all the other ones. It's just like, well, okay then. I guess it exists. Could be worse, maybe. <laughs> there's a chance. It's there's a. It could be less good. Nah, 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 nah. Whatever. We're just gonna restart the floor in just a second because we have just about done all of it. Just gonna look for my secret room. Our bombs look nice and all Bobby right now, which is lovely. Bob's curse. Make him look all enemy-like. Makes us look a little bit more menacing towards the evil enemy goons. Where is it? Did I try this wall? I don't remember trying this one. I've already found my secret room. I don't know how I keep doing this. This is like a thing that's been happening a lot lately. Maybe since the beginning of time. Where I just look for my secret room when I've already found it. <laughs> and it really doesn't do a whole lot for the run. It's just like using bombs randomly here and there. And it's not really adding much to the whole experience, does it? Alright, let's leave. Oh no, I fell down. Oh no, where am I now? I'm over here again. Dark room. This time with health shown. And that is the second to last guppy item. The only thing we're lacking now is the hairball. 
Which we're definitely not going to get. I'm not going to use Amnesia. <laughs> I like having a map, actually. And uh, I should go back for that mini mushroom thingy, but jibble, but... Ugh. Do I really want to? Or do I want to be lazy? With some luck, we'll just randomly spawn in a horseman who just got lost and actually had, like, our final meet cube part. But the odds of that are not really great. I actually probably should have taken the monster manual. Because there was a very small chance we could have at least gotten the max level thing. I guess I could have taken this as well, which is also pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't remember if I've had either of these items before, so I'm just going to take both. One because it's sad bombs, and the other one because, you know, that guy is just sort of floating around shooting things. And how often do we get to D6? Apparently quite frequently lately, but alright. Who needs to play Isaac when we can just get the items he drops anyway? Boom! Them tears are going to be dealing a lot of damage to the enemies we're going to be fighting today. And it's going to be lovely. I'm not sure if um, that explosion hit the wall. It probably did because I think we have Mr. Mega still. So it should probably still hit. Oh, that works. <laughs> that makes finding secret rooms a little bit easier. Find a super secret room. So that's cool. Maybe get a eternal art. Well, fair enough, I guess. Bleep, bleep. Don't really care about either of those items. They're not really that exciting. Did I ever pick up a PhD? I'm sure I picked up a PhD at some point during any of these runs, but... It's been a while, you know? <laughs> Strange attractor and that thing. Meh. Meh. I mean, I guess Strange Attractor is kind of funny. I guess I'll take that one. I guess I'll take both of these then, since I could just re-roll the other two. Over here. Over here. <laughs> Lord and a prey card. Why not? Let's just take both. Move nice and slow. I feel like a tank. Yes, guys, I am one. Can we find a secret room over here? Nope. Can we find a secret room anywhere? I'm not actually sure where to look for that one now. There it is. I found it in the end, guys. I found it in the end. Oh my, that's actually quite good. Those are quite good items. Quite good. This has potential to be quite good as well. I'm gonna consider that for a while. Because so far, every time we had that guy sit there, he just wasn't cooperating at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does that again, but... First of all, let's just run around this run for a while. <laughs> let's just explore for a little bit longer first. I think I might actually take that Meat Boy fan thing, because that's actually not bad. Not bad at all, but simultaneously I kind of feel like using all my keys on the, on the guy. I feel like using my keys on the guy and do the things. Because that would maybe kind of help out a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to take both of these. Bloody Lust is always fun. SMB super fan. Would make us look all red and we drop blood now on the floor when we walk around just like Meat Boy does. Not that often apparently, but we should. And it's kind of a neat item, but we're not really going to do much with it this run. Please give me a bunch of chests, not red ones, please. That's one. That's two. So far, that's a shame. More of this. Oh, an attack fly bean. That thing. And a bomb. Well, that's three items that I can reroll. And they are in the secret room. And there is still a secret room item which I haven't gotten yet. And I want it. No, I, well, I don't really want it, but I need it. And that's none of them. Transcendence is fun, though, but we already have the usages of all of these items, so that seems a bit pointless. Hope we can recharge our item at least one more time, though. That would be cool. You can just draw a battery out of somewhere. That would be nice. We might have enough rooms to just do it in general, though, but I'm not 100% certain. Nah, we should be fine, actually. There's still a lot of rooms remaining. There's still a lot of rooms remaining. We'll probably be okay. We'll probably be okay. If we could get, like, a... A uh, trading card. If we, if we can get fight Sloth, maybe? I guess I'll get to take these things. Get another life. <laughs> 12 life. We If we died, we, we, we already turned into Judas. We could turn into Lazarus. And we could turn into the blue baby this run. <laughs> oh, and a common cold makes this thing green. So that's kind of fun. God, this run, though. It's been ridiculous. Don't really want either of those. Oh, I'll take that one, I guess. This is not too bad. But I don't really care about the $3 bill right now. Don't really care. 
And I'm just gonna kill these guys. Maybe get two more items? Hey! Quarter and a unicorn stub. Um. Nah. I'm just gonna kill the lamb, then go back to my secret room, see if we can get one more cool thing. Probably not, but it would be cool if we could. Would be cool if we could get one more cool stuff. One more cool stuff, please. Oh god, the secret room's all the way over there. It's so far away. I'm gonna get the $3 bill, why not? It doesn't really affect anything anymore. Maybe make it look slightly more green than usual sometimes. Maybe make it look transparent. And bloop. Again, that black lotus, though, keeps appearing lately, but it's not the item I want. Lost contact, one up, another extra life, 13 extra lives. <laughs> uh, and that's with, like, a single dead cat. And we get one, we get one extra life from Judas' shadow, which we used, I guess. We get one from Lazarus' rags, we get one from the Ankh, we get one from the Guppy's collar, and one from the one up. And I can't even kill myself because my bombs are, uh, pyromaniac so There you go, that was a weird run. <laughs> Been a while since we got Brimstone, though, so that's kind of cool, I guess, but... Yeah, very odd. Very odd. Odd, but I don't mind. It was kind of fun though. We got a lot of items. Randomly got the D6 at the end there. But I'm still looking for that final secret room item. I think it's only one I need as well, so. Would be nice. But oh well. Still at 3 out of 29, so we didn't really make any progress, but it was fun. And that's what matters. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.